In today's video, we're going to show you how we got Gareth from double hitting, thinning, duffing his chip shots to holing his chip shots. Yes, if you have the yips with your short game, then you need to watch this video because it is going to change your life. Check this out. So welcome to me and my golf. Thank you for joining us. Now we are about to change Gareth's life on his short game. We are going to change his life. If you are new to the channel and you want to improve your game, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the bell to not miss a video. And also, if you want to knock five shots off your score, check out our free video series down in the description, five shots lower, click the link, and you could take advantage of that. Right, Gareth, shortest shot here at the uh, Asprey on the 12th. Chip shots, we know that you've been struggling a little bit with this. Let's just get you hitting some shots and then we'll uh, take some videos and we'll have a look and, and go from there. So let's just Brilliant. play this shot here. you got 56 degree. I do. Whoa. And that is something that can happen, isn't it? Beautiful. And look, I mean, we haven't really got to hit too many more, really, other than that. We know that that shot is in your locker, the, yeah. the double hit, the hitting the ground before, thinning it through the green. You know, these shots are there, aren't they? All there. Every miss on the cards. OK, well, let's watch you hit one more. And Gareth is a, a decent player. Gareth is um, 10 handicap. Yeah. So best, you said your best score the other day was 77. 77, yeah, yeah so is my PB. A lot of great stuff in there, but this is an area that's just really letting you down. Yeah. It is, yeah, but it's got to a point where I'm so nervous over a chip now and I'm so, I've got a bit of the yips, do you know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah, confidence yeah. is completely gone. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, I'm, that's sure, I'm sure the guys at home can relate to this. <laughs> yeah. This is why they clicked on this yeah, video, because yeah, yeah. they're having some issues. I inside. work so much on my wedges so I don't miss the green. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Full shots and, and a yeah. lot of Texas wedges. I've yeah, been known yeah. to get the putter out from this distance. But, do you know what? If we were playing golf today, we would say just get the putter out and do that. Well, this stage that's here, that's what we need to do. And look, the thing is, that, you know, I can very much relate to this. I've been through this myself as well. Yeah. So we want to definitely give you some things here that can help you. So the first thing I'm going to ask you is, when you're about to hit a shot, what are you trying to hit? A really weird question, but what are you trying to hit? Uh, well, to be, I'm trying to hit the ball, obviously, but I'm just trying to skim the turf. I'm um, okay. just trying to get a nice connection. <sighs> I've got some issues with deceleration, which is why I hit over there. So okay. I'm trying not to hit up on the ball. Yeah. You know, I don't want to hit too far behind it either because that's when I'll duff it five, six yards. Oh. So I've got all these things going in my brain, which I don't think helps either. The fact you're trying to hit the golf ball is probably the biggest issue that you actually have got. So anyone yeah. who's trying to hit a golf ball on a chip shot, you know, obviously we want to hit the ball, but you're okay hitting the ground at the same time. And if we do it correctly, you can actually hit the ground before the golf ball. So we can use the wedge and get the most out of it, use the bottom of the club, and we can get it to actually interact with the ground in a good manner, we can actually be quite consistent in hitting the ground before the ball and still hitting good golf shots. Yeah, okay. So at the moment, you're very much, it's like monomaniacal, I have to be right there, <laughs> perfect. It has to be so centered on that strike. Whereas actually, you can probably have an area as big as that, that you can actually hit the ground. And as long as the ball's in that area there, and as long as the technique is good, we're okay. So first things first, we need to understand that we want you to hit the ground today. Okay. So I'm gonna get you a master of interacting the club with the ground today. Awesome. That's the first thing. Now, let's just look at the technique because we did some videos earlier. So first of all, let's just look at the setup. Just when you look at that there, you probably see straight away, well, hang on a bit. There's probably a few angles there that look a little bit off. So you can see your right shoulder's very low. Your head is tilted back. That kind of looks like a driver. Yeah. But then you've got the ball back in the stance, so you've got the shaft lean forward. Well, that kind of looks like you're playing a low shot. Yeah. So you've got these two conflicting moves here. So straight away, we're going to change the setup. We're going to get the shoulder up. We're going to change the head position. We're going to move the hands back and put the ball further forward. As you swing back, as you take the club back, you can see it's a very short swing with the arms. The body isn't doing anything. The no. hips aren't doing anything. The torso is hardly doing anything. And as you swing through, you've got this a lot of shaft lean as you're striking the golf ball. And you've got this really big, long through swing. You yeah. mentioned about accelerating on the way through. The biggest issue people have when they're hitting shots is they hit the ground the club decelerates and they think they're decelerating. Well, no, the ground is going to the stop ground's the club. taking the momentum. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know right. where that's come from as well? <laughs> Mar less margin for error. I felt like if I don't swing back as far, my chances of, you know, coming through and 100%. I don't know, club going all over the place yeah. might might be less. And this is this is where we go against everything that you think you should be doing. Yeah. We're going to ask you to go longer. We're going to ask you to decelerate or feel like it. We're going completely opposite to what you think you should be doing. Brilliant. <laughs> it, it, it is very, very weird when you do this for the first time. So first of all, no ball. Okay? no ball. We're going to take a bit of time to do this because there's a few things we need to go through. So I want you to imagine that the ball is somewhere in that area. Yep. Okay. So let's just go with it pretty much in the middle. So take your setup for me. I'm going to manhandle you a little bit here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this right shoulder a lot higher up. Cool. Bring your hands down the handle just a little bit. 
we're going to bring the club up a little bit, okay? Now, all I want you to do from here, and one question I should have asked you before, what is your grip pressure like on a scale of one to 10? Oh, ten. it's firm now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So 10 being really hard, yeah. one being virtually not holding it. Probably Let's try one. Yeah, okay. You're probably an eight, okay. Let's try one and just have some swings where you just actually don't really care about how far back and how far through it goes, but you have to keep one and we have to get this brush of the ground. Okay. Okay, so just try and brush the ground in that T area there. And you can go longer on the way back as well. Good. Straight away, the body's moving a little bit more and you can turn your hips on the way back. Okay, nice. Now, if you think about it, all of those shots that you've just hit there, if there was a ball there, they'd have been beautiful floating Phil Mickelson chip shots. <laughs> and the issue with this is generally, what we're seeing here with Gareth is that he was struggling with contact issues, ground first and hitting up on the golf ball. Um, so maybe the fin shot or the ground first. And the reason is, when we get the shoulders like this and the shaft forward, it can create too much of this upward motion. So what Pierce is doing now, he's trying to get him more neutral where the shoulders are more in line here. So it actually allows for more downward strike on the golf ball. Even the head position was more like this. We're sort of bringing everything more like this, more neutral with the shoulders. And this will create that downward strike, which actually Gareth is just not quite getting at the moment. This. Digging it in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a ball here. Yep. We're going to go through exactly the same thing, yeah? So I want you to set up to it. I have a couple of practice swings first, actually. So you're going to, beautiful setup, I like that. Longer backswing, really soft hands. So literally, you're going to feel like you're going to let go of the club as you swing through. Do you see the difference almost in his body then? When you did that then, the shots before, they looked as though they were restricted. As soon as I said, you know, you're going to let go, suddenly there was a flow yeah. to your body and your arms and the movement. Right, get yourself ready to hit this one. Okay, do me one more favor. Yeah. Close your eyes when you hit this one. Ooh. So close your eyes. Yeah. There's no, it doesn't matter if you hit a bad shot now because your eyes are closed. Got an okay. excuse. Really long swing, one out of 10 grip pressure. Okay, let's do that again. That was actually a pretty good effort, considering yeah, that was the first pretty time good. you've ever done that. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> there was no double hit, so no that's double a good start. Go. <laughs> let's go again then. Good shoulder, good setup. I'm just going to come in here and just change that head position yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, tweak it around a bit more, Andy. There you go. That, that, uh, Okay. It's a little bit more level now. One out of 10 grip pressure, yep. eyes closed. Now just quickly tell me how that felt. Felt so much better. Felt weird <laughs> until I'd hit the ball yeah. and it felt like a nice strike. Yeah. But um, I mean, I, I, can tell, I can see that the grip pressure, loosening my grip pressure a bit is helping out. Cause I think, you know, when you get a bit tight, you start digging it in and I don't know. Okay, same again, eyes closed. Let's, let's ream a few shots off now. So get the good setup and he's, and he's checking on the head. That head. Move that head. Close, narrow with the stance a little bit as maybe as well. Yeah. That's it. Okay, one out of 10 grip pressure. Long, long, long. I mean, that's just golden. So good. I mean, look, no we're not worried about there, is there? No. You're not accelerating there. And, yeah. and now, does, does it make sense from, from here as well, Gareth, that actually this is promoting upward uh, shot? Yeah. Whereas now, actually, this is going to promote more of a downward strike. It changes the whole motion just by getting you more neutral. Yeah, brilliant. Nice. nice. Beautiful. So that was evenly paced. That was even back and through. All we need to do then is just to get the right distance is just bring them both down to the right length. Again, was, I'm not, I'm not interested nice. in how far, how close you're hitting the flag yet. Don't no. forget. I'm only wanting you hitting on the green. All right, just let Sean cut the green. Okay, looks like we're gonna, do you wanna pause those a bit, Sean? Yeah. Saw my chipping and thought he'd save me. <laughs> right, we're back. We had to uh, stop because Sean wanted to cut the green then. So we're back, we've got nice freshly cut green now. <laughs> we had no choice <laughs> in the matter there, didn't we? The <laughs> okay, right, let's carry on. This is really good. We actually did a few little chip shots just as well, but let's continue again, not thinking so much about getting it close to the flag just yet. Again, I want, maybe we'll alternate the shots. We'll go one eyes closed, one normal, but we want light grip pressure. Yep. We want long backswing and we want them brush. Okay, let's see what you've got. I mean, that is oh. just like, beautiful. Golden. Apart. golden. Was that eyes closed or was that? That was eyes open, that was actually, eyes open. Yeah. Let's go eyes closed on this one then. Brush, not bad. Good. And what, what I'm gonna do. Now, that was a bad one, and that's yeah. gone to 
Oh, so keep going, the greens are past here, it's gone to 12 feet. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're just being cut, Andy. That's the difference, they have just been cut, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, me, um, let me just jump in here now, and I'm going to actually get you hit one with your eyes closed again. Yep. And we're going to look at where you actually hit the ground. I'm going to get my phone out. Just aim a little bit more left, let's really allow for this break on, there, on here as well. Okay. There's a big break. Oh, I mean, that's just so different. That was beautiful. I mean, that could be in. Oh! It is. I mean... <laughs> The, the, the whole motion, the whole motion there was absolutely beautiful, and the result you couldn't have played that any better. So what and we're it, saying is, when I actually engage my brain and my eyes, I'm terrible. But what, when I don't, what we're saying is, you're only any, any good at golf when you start duffing it. <laughs> Look at that, you've hit the ground there, two inches, three inches before the ball. I'm not carrying on. I'm done. I must admit, you saw the warm up. I. I I thinned or duffed every single one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah I've yeah. closed my eyes now and, you know, I've binned one and got one to within, you know, two foot. So. Lee, you're in trouble today, mate. You, I hope you're not playing for money. It's going to be game over. Always pride. <laughs> Pride's worth more than money. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and also check out our free video series in the description. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.